Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to access safe mode on your PlayStation 4. And you'll want to do this if you're having critical issues with your PlayStation 4. Database corruption issues, or maybe even resolution issues. So let's go ahead and jump into this PlayStation tutorial right now. So the first thing you'll want to do is make sure your PlayStation 4 is completely 100% turned off. So if your PlayStation does work, go ahead and hold down the PlayStation button on your controller and bring up the quick menu on the left hand side. Scroll down to power and then go to turn off PS4. Do not go to enter rest mode. Your PS4 has to be completely 100% turned off. So I'm turning off my PS4 right now. So my PlayStation 4 is completely turned off right now. Let's go ahead and jump over to my PS4 and I'll show you guys what you need to do to turn on your PS4 in safe mode. Alright, so my PlayStation 4 is completely turned off. Let's go ahead and boot it into safe mode. So I have the power button on top and the eject button on the bottom. Let's go ahead and press and hold down the power button for approximately 10 seconds. You'll hear one beep initially and the lights will come on. And then a couple seconds later you'll hear another beep. And then go ahead and let go of the power button and your PlayStation 4 will now be launching into safe mode. So my PlayStation 4 is now in save mode. What you will want to do is go ahead and get your controller and get a wire and connect it directly to the front of the PlayStation 4 and connect it to your controller. If you're trying to connect wirelessly, it will not work. So once that's connected, go ahead and press the PlayStation button down and you'll gain access to the safe mode menu. The first option, you'll be able to restart your PlayStation 4 Second option, you'll be able to change your resolution on your PlayStation 4. Suppose you connected to a TV and you have a different option set on your PlayStation 4 that doesn't support the TV's resolution. You won't get a signal on the TV, so you'll have this option right here. You can go ahead and change the resolution on your PlayStation 4. I typically just have my resolution on my PlayStation 4 set to automatic, so I don't run into this issue at all. The third option down, You'll be able to update your system software. You will have three options for updating. You can update from a USB storage device, update from a disk, or update using the internet. The fourth option down, you'll be able to restore the console settings back to the default. So just like everything how it was when you bought the PlayStation 4. Then for option number five, I use this option quite a bit. It's rebuild database on your PlayStation 4. If you're having general slowness in your menus on the PlayStation 4, go ahead and go to option number five. If you're having database corruption issues on your PlayStation 4, hard drive issues, option five will hopefully fix that for you. And it says it may take a few hours to fix and rebuild your database on your PlayStation 4. But my experience is it usually takes about 5 to 10 minutes. And you don't have to worry about losing any data when you're using option number 5, rebuild database on your PlayStation 4. Everything will be saved on your PS4 and it won't erase it. So don't worry about that. And if you're really having problems and nothing else is fixing your PlayStation 4, well, the last ditch effort you can try is going down to option number 6, initialize PS4. And this will remove all user and all data from your PlayStation 4. And then option number 7 is initialize PlayStation 4, but it will take it a step further. And it will reinstall the system software on your PlayStation 4. So if you are having software problems with your PlayStation 4, go ahead and try and initialize PlayStation 4, reinstall system software. So if this video did indeed help you access safe mode on your PlayStation 4, Go ahead and leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more PlayStation Tech Help tips coming up next on Your Six Studios.